Hey guys, Mobby here. Now, I just finished researching and compiling all of the major releases and a couple of indie surprise hits. All the games releasing for October 2023. Let's look at it together so you can get a gist of what's coming up. Maybe there's something under the radar that you missed. If you're interested in what I'm listening to today, we got one hour of relaxing fighting game music for work study. So um, sit back, relax. This is going to be a little chill episode where we just go through all the stuff. It's not a crazy long list. I would say about 25 to 30 games. But let's start with the first one on the list that I already did the review for this. It's out now if you want to see it. So this is Silent Hope. So this game was interesting. I only saw like the, the preview of it, but then I, I ended up just downloading it and trying it out. So um, it's like a 50-50 recommendation if you want the short end of it, just like that. So that's Silent Hope. It's a, a dungeon crawling JRPG. Next game, which I'm, it's, it's the next game to be reviewed on the channel. I'm currently playing it right now. Um, it's Disgaea 7, Vows of the Virtuous. I really like the Disgaea series. I've been playing it since the first game. Admittedly, I did skip two, three, and four. Uh, two, three, and four, but I played five, six in this one. So, uh, I really like this guy. Uh, and I think so far, from from what I've played with this new game, and the review will come up in a day or two. It's good. It's a decent game. It might not break the mold, but it's actually a pretty cool game. So that's the Skya coming out. Next up, we got Assassin's Creed Mirage. I honestly fell off Assassin's Creed after two. I really love Ezio. And then I just skipped the other ones. And then I just turned into more and more convoluted game. Like a gigantic RPG. But then this one is kind of going back to the roots. What people really like. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy this one. Uh, but this one's releasing. So I don't expect a review. But this one's coming out. Next up we got Front Mission 2 Remake. Uh, Front Mission 2 Remake. So this is a strategy RPG. You know, grid-based sort of thing, and then you go into little battles like this. Um, I don't know when the original one released. Was it a DS game or something like that? But I, I'm interested in checking this one out. So there is a potential review for this one. Front Mission 2 Remake. All right, next game on the list. This one's a little weird. So this is Ooblets. Now, this is not necessarily a completely new game. If I recall, Ooblets has been around for a long time, but it's finally out of its sort of uh, exclusivity. I think it launched on a failed platform. And then uh, I, for I, I even forgot what the hell the name of the platform was, like the Ouya or something, right? But then this one's a casual farming sim, party paced RPG exploration, deck building, deck building, really? Deck building? Did they just tag it as that? Hey, look at that. So yeah, there's like a, it's like, it's charming, it looks cool, but I really don't know how many, like, people, like, want to support it, because I remember people were pissed off, like, oh, they sold out, blah, blah, blah. But now it's finally coming out on Steam, so that's October 5th, Ooblets. Let me know what you guys think about that game. Next up, Detective Pikachu Returns. I didn't play the original, uh, but I do support the series, you know, anything other than main Pokemon right now. <laughs> He's on Growlithe. So yeah, it's a continuation of the story, follows Pikachu and Tim. And it looks like they're going off on another adventure. So that is the uh, sixth Detective Pikachu Returns exclusively for the Switch. Next up is a Steam game I'm pretty excited for. This is Run Gore. I played the demo, the, the you know, the first prologue. This game was cool, man. This game is a real-time deck deck battler. So you just go through and you fight. And it's, 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 it's just really cool. Like, the only thing I can say is go check out my playthrough of the demo. And you'll see why I think this is going to be a sweet game. Oh, man. Look look how crazy your hand size gets and the battling you do. It's a challenging game for sure. But, okay, this one's coming on the 12th. This one, 100% review on that one. Next game up, Lords of the Fallen. Yet another Souls game. We're eating good today, boys. We just had Lies of P, which admittedly I'm still playing. So, probably no review for that. Or if there is going to be a review, it's going to be very, very late. But, uh, yeah. This one is another Souls-like game, but this one is more like, honestly, if you just told someone who never played Souls game and you're like, this is another Souls game, they will probably believe you just on the fact that it looks like it, right? But obviously it's going to play different. I remember the, 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 the first one to come out, it was, it was very forgettable in my opinion. So this one looks cool. Look at that. You can throw spears and stuff. So this one's on the 13th as well. 10 days as of recording. So I need to complete Lies of Peace before that. Come by Twitch. I'm going to be streaming all of that. But don't worry. My review will come out hopefully before Lows of the Fallen comes out. But yeah. This one looks cool. This one looks good. Okay. Next game up is going to be 
Sonic Superstars. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna play this one. Just Sonic fan. You know, uh, Sonic has has been in so much like ups and downs throughout the years. I think that you know, start out the 2D sprite, and then it went to the really good stuff with the Sonic Adventure, and then it started going downhill with Sonic 06, and it's just been up and down. You know, even with Sonic Odyssey, that was another game that has been pretty much split. I was negative on that. I did not like it. But, you know, that's not to say... There's not good things to say about it. But this one, it's another 2D game. It probably won't be that long. You can probably finish it a day or two. So I'll definitely play this one. Sonic Superstars on the 16th. Next game, it's another Steam game. Wizard with a Gun. I love the name. And just look at this thing. Look at this. So it's like an open world. Oh, look at all that crafting. It reminds me of, like don't starve sort of like world like like not, not not necessarily the look but like the just just how it feels like it's gonna play however this one it says uh, devolver digital is publishing it by the way roguelike dungeon crawler so this one could be a really really sweet sleeper hit check out wizard with a gun i know i will october 17th next game hellboy web of weird this is another action roguelike i um, not a gigantic fan of Hellboy. I, I haven't watched any of the movies or read the comics. So I'm only going into this game uh, just, you know, with no with no bias. I don't like it. I don't hate the IP. And we're just going to go in and judge it on if it's going to be a good game or not. So this one's coming on the 18th. Roguelike action brawler Hellboy. Next up, Gargoyles Remastered. I never played the original. I think this was a Genesis only game. It was either Genesis or Super, or Super Nintendo or both. And I never played this one. I've seen a little clips of the show here or there when I was a kid, but I never, I never watched it. You know, I was, I was watching X Men. I just, I don't know why I never got into Gargoyles. But it's, a, it's a pretty beloved IP. You can see here, you can, you can instantly switch graphics. That's a thing that they do these days. You know, the when, you, when they make remakes, you just switch over and all that cool stuff. So yeah, this one's coming out. I'll check it out. A little platformer. Um, I don't know if they change anything. Probably just the graphics, key features, blah blah. blah. Customize, instant rewind. Yeah, if you go, you know, instant rewind. Um, yeah, okay, so it's gonna be the game which is better graphics probably and another one I'm pretty excited about I've bought every single Jackbox Jackbox party pack and I think they're fun. They're really really good um, You can play with anyone. It's pretty great So this one's gonna have a bunch of new games and I'm gonna play it I'll check it out play with some friends and we'll do a review on this one for sure because this one is a hundred percent buying TKO 2 That's one of our favorite games by the way TKO. I wonder what the difference is in two probably nothing <laughs> probably nothing uh, but anyway, that's the 18th Jackbox. Next up, Endless Dungeon. This is a game that I've never played, but I keep hearing the name over and over again. However, this is a roguelite version of the game. I think, I like, someone could correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Endless Dungeon itself is supposed to be like a campaign game, right? But now this particular version is going to be a roguelite version? Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm excited to try this one out. The 19th, published by Sega. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so there you go. Two weeks, 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Okay, I'm excited to try that one out. Next up is going to be Marvel Spider-Man 2. Now, this one comes out on the 20th. Now, I didn't play the first one. However, we have 17 days to play it and beat it. I think I can do it, and I'm okay doing it because... I think the first one is on the PlayStation Plus, right? So I should be able to just play without any additional PlayStation Plus costs, right? So um, if it's good, well, if I enjoy the first one, even slightly, I'll play the second one for sure. And it's going to be PS5 exclusive, so watch out for that. Next up, another big game on the same day release. God dang, dude. Oh, uh, I think this one's definitely going to be a quicker game. I mean, that's just assuming, right? Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So this one comes out on the 20th as well. And, uh, yeah, it's just... It's going to be a wacky game, God. Because, like, they have to make the game different enough where you can't just simply recreate it in Mario Maker 2, right? It has to be, like, insane. Especially as a 2D game. So, yeah. I'm probably going to play this one solo, of anything. And then, uh, yeah, we'll check it out. <laughs> Uh, Mario Bros. What? Yeah, yeah, we'll try that out. Next game, uh, probably not gonna play, but I thought I mentioned it because it's another game. Ubisoft Just Dance 2024 edition. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> just, just gonna mention it. Next game. Uh, this one, I don't. I really, really am worried about this. I do not know anything about this. 
um, whether or not the Lord of the Rings Return to Moria, it's going to be a good game, or if it's going to be a cash grab, it's going to be a shit game. So it's all about you playing the playing as the dwarves, I think. Uh, $40, and I think it's epic exclusive. And yeah, I really don't know what's going to happen here. Lord of the Rings, a bark on a new adventure. Join forces to build, craft, survive, and explore the mines. I mean, that sounds like a good idea. Feel the fellowship. Uh-huh. Survive the dark base building. Rebuild, explore, co-op multiplayer. So, I'm going to assume um, it's probably going to be a third-person action sandbox game. Which I would like. Honestly, I would like that. If it works that way, sure, I'm down. So, hopefully it's good. But honestly, I, I'm not. I don't have hope. But I'll play it. Next up, Cities Skylines 2. The first one was cool. I didn't play it on PC. I have it on PC. But I didn't play it. I ended up like downloading it for um, like my, my PlayStation and playing it on there. Can you believe that? It's really interesting with the, uh, with the control scheme. But it's whatever. I don't even know what the hell they can do for this one. This new one. I haven't like researched any of the new stuff in it. But I mean, if you're really into it. I mean, people love the first game. I mean, really love. Look at this. Oh, very positive, almost 200,000 reviews, and that's just Steam. You know, it's on all the consoles and stuff. So, yeah, this one should be a pretty big release. And then we have Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 for $60. You're going to get the first Metal Gear, the, th the 3D ones, Metal Gear um, 2, Metal Gear Solid, HD Collection. You got three, and then you also get the NES and Famicom version. So these are the very first two games in the series. And then this one is also, this is the pretty much Metal Gear 2. Also for the NES and all that good stuff. And you get the regional versions as well. Digital stuff, all that stuff. So, um, I don't know, man. I'm like 20% interested. Uh, this comes out on the 24th. There's going to be too many games I'm playing at that time. So we'll probably skip it. We'll probably skip it, but it's, it's, it's worth noting, right? And then the last two games, we got Alan Wake. This one's getting hyped up. I really liked Alan Wake, um, the the Nightmare one. I played that one, and I think I beat it in one night during one of our Halloween sessions. That was really cool. So if this one comes out on the 27th, yeah, we're going to be playing it and probably play through Halloween. But from, from the gameplay that I've seen, it really rem it reminds me of just like, it looks like a mediocre sort of, or at least not crazy inspiring, breaking the mold third person survival action game. But as long as the story is solid, it'll keep me interested. So as you know, if the gameplay is average and the story's good, I'll be happy with that. All right, so we'll check this one out, Alan Wake 2. And the final game, UFC 5 on the 27th. This one's not releasing, by the way, for the PC. I don't think the other ones either as well. I've always been interested in trying these ones out just to see how this one works like as a fighting game. However, the base price is 70 bucks. God damn. God damn. 70 bucks. All right, so that's it for this month. Um, once again, I'll try to do this every single month, but I'll do it before, before October ends, just in case. So yeah, the, the biggest games are Silent Hill, which we did. We did this one. Uh, Ooblets, we'll do Ooblets. We'll do Run Gore. We'll do Lords of the Fallen, Superstars, Wizard with a Gun. Uh, we'll do Jackbox. We'll do Endless Dungeon, Spider-Man, Mars Wonder, uh, Lord of the Rings, and Island Wake 2. So those are the ones that I really am going to 100% push for reviews. And everything in the middle, if I have time, we'll do it. But it looks like we're already going to be filled up to the brim with this stuff. And who knows all the other random indie games that come in. This is just a list of the most prominent ones out there. So please let me know down below if there's anything in here you think I missed. Any indie games you would like to see me look at. And which ones in here, general, you think are going to disappoint. And which ones are you going to really, really like. So thank you so much for watching. This has been fun. It's always a good idea to run through just to see what's coming up, especially if you're reviewing stuff like on my channel. So let's go. Let's go play some games. Come by Twitch. I'll be playing Lines of P. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.